years, the state of Montana braced itself for the arrival of chronic wasting disease, or CWD. We knew it was only a matter of time as CWD had been discovered in wild herds to the north in Canada and to the south and east. Now it is here. What is CWD? It's a slow-moving, fatal, neurological disease of deer, elk, or moose caused by an infectious, misfolded prion protein concentrated in an animal's lymphatic and nervous system tissues. What makes CWD so difficult to manage is that infected animals are difficult to detect. Symptoms do not appear until the animal is in the terminal stage of the disease. Unfortunately, infected animals can shed the infectious prions before they show symptoms. It can take up to two years from the time an animal becomes infected to the time they die from the disease. An animal's outward appearance is not a reliable indicator of its infection status. In fact, all CWD-positive hunter-harvested deer from 2017 and 2018 looked normal and healthy at the time of harvest. At the terminal stage, symptoms include emaciation, excessive salivation, lack of muscle coordination, difficulty swallowing, excessive thirst, and excessive urination. They may have an exaggerated wide posture and may stagger and carry their head and ears lowered and are often found consuming large amounts of water. CWD is most easily and commonly transmitted by animal-to-animal -animal contact, but can also be transmitted by contact with a prion-contaminated environment, such as grass and soil. Infected animals shed prions in saliva, feces, and urine for most of the course of their infection and via bodily tissues and fluids upon death. CWD is not known to be transmissible to humans. We know that CWD-infected animals die at a much faster rate than healthy animals, and this has led to population declines in heavily infected herds. In Colorado, populations of mule deer dropped 45% over a 20-year period, and in Wyoming, biologists have witnessed a 21% annual decline in one infected herd. Without management of CWD, Montana would risk seeing similar declines in populations of deer and increased spread of the disease. This could mean fewer opportunities for wildlife recreation. Therefore, while Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks has been monitoring for CWD for 20 years, it ramped up its surveillance and management planning efforts in the fall of 2017, with the disease known to be just a few miles inside the Wyoming border. The surveillance plan involves rotating efforts among priority areas of the state, including an initial emphasis on south-central, southeast, and north-central through eastern Montana. Surveillance efforts primarily consist of collecting samples from hunter-harvested deer at game check stations and cooperating meat processors and taxidermists, but also include collecting samples from symptomatic and road-killed animals. Since our renewed sampling efforts in 2017, Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks has collected over 4,000 samples at check stations across the state. Sampling involves removing retropharyngeal lymph nodes, or the brain stem. CWD is most practically and efficiently detected in samples from dead animals. Samples are currently sent to Colorado State University for testing. The first case of CWD in wild deer in Montana was confirmed by Fish, Wildlife, and Parks in late October 2017 from a sample taken from a hunter-harvested deer south of Billings. We now know CWD is present in south-central Montana and along much of our northern border. Since the discovery of CWD in Montana, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks has implemented its CWD response plan. The main objective of Fish, Wildlife, and Parks' response plan is to manage CWD, not to eradicate it. Our goal will be to reduce the prevalence or maintain it at 5% or lower within the affected population. This does not mean a scorched earth approach. In fact, Montana prioritizes recreational opportunities in its plan. Potential management actions include increased harvest, especially of antlered animals, targeted removal in limited areas around CWD detections, minimizing large groupings of deer by removing or fencing highly localized attractants, hazing or through dispersal hunts, and transport restrictions. In addition to these management actions, Montana already had in place several preventative measures, including the prohibition of the transport of live cervids and carcasses of cervids from CWD-positive states. We also have laws banning the feeding of wildlife, and there has been recent legislation regulating the use and import of cervid urine lures from CWD-positive states. In response to the discovery of CWD in new areas, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks may hold special CWD hunts. The special hunt boundaries are determined by drawing a 10-mile radius around where any new positive animals are discovered. During these special hunts, 
hunters will be required to submit samples from their harvest for CWD testing at either a check station or a Fish, Wildlife, and Parks regional office. The goal of a special CWD hunt is to determine prevalence and distribution of chronic wasting disease within the hunt area. This is critical information for Fish, Wildlife, and Parks as it plans for long-term disease management in the area. CWD management zones will be established around known CWD positive areas. These zones come with carcass transport restrictions that limit the movement of potentially infected animals out of the hunt area. Whole carcasses, heads, and spinal columns are not allowed outside a CWD management zone. However, these zones are designed to accommodate the need for processing and taxidermy services. Hunters that harvest an animal within a CWD management zone must bone out their deer, quarter it taking only the leg bones, or have it processed prior to removing it from the management zone. Spinal columns and carcass parts may be left at the site of a kill if allowed by a landowner. Carcass parts that may be removed from the CWD management zone include meat that is cut and wrapped or meat that has been separated from the bone, quarters or other portions of meat with no part of the spinal column or head attached, hides with no heads attached, skull plates or antlers with no meat or tissue attached, skulls that have been boiled and cleaned to remove flesh and tissue, upper canine teeth, and head, partial body, or whole body mounts prepared by a taxidermist. Again, though there is no evidence CWD is transmissible to humans, it is recommended to never ingest meat from animals that appear to be sick or are known to be CWD positive. The Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends hunters who have harvested a deer, elk, or moose from a known CWD positive area, such as from one of our CWD management zones, have the animal tested prior to consuming it. If hunters harvest an animal that appears to be sick, the best thing to do is to contact Fish, Wildlife, and Parks and have the animal inspected. Some simple precautions should be taken when field dressing deer, elk, or moose. Wear rubber gloves and eye protection when field dressing. Minimize the handling of brain and spinal tissues. Wash hands and instruments thoroughly after field dressing is completed. And avoid consuming brain, spinal cord, eyes, spleen, tonsils, and lymph nodes of harvested animals. Normal field dressing coupled with boning out of a carcass will essentially remove these parts. Moving forward, surveillance will continue in priority areas noted in the CWD management plan and will likely evolve with any new detections around the state. Fish, Wildlife, and Parks is committed to managing CWD and will design herd management plans to keep the prevalence below 5% in affected populations. A monitoring program at 5 and 10 years post-detection will be developed to assess management efficacy. Support for CWD surveillance and response has been provided by Deer and Elk Auction Dollars, a Pittman-Robertson Federal Grant, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the Mule Deer Foundation, and the Montana Wildlife Federation. Fish, Wildlife, and Parks thanks hunters and landowners for their participation in our sampling efforts and for their patience. We also thank the residents and vigilant wildlife watchers for their on-the-ground reporting of sick animals as well as partner agencies and communities for their assistance. For more information about CWD and Montana's response, go to fwp.mt.gov slash CWD.